Remember Elian Gonzalez? He was the kid that, uh, of course, uh, wound up in Florida. He was on a raft with his uh, mom. He was six year old back then. And uh, then his uncle uh, brought him in and he was down in uh, Miami. And then as you see in that famous picture, uh, federal agents uh, swarmed in. They took him because his father wanted him back and his father lived in Cuba. Now the right wing Cuban community there was livid. Now I lived in Miami at the time. I was in fact part of those protests, which I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, and so I remember every detail. The guy holding the kid there is Donato Dalrymple. Mm -hmm. What a great name. Th that's he, a Cuban name, really? I, apparently, okay. Fascinating. And okay. he was a fisherman, okay? okay? And fishermen had originally found uh, Elian Gonzalez uh, at, in the first place, okay? Anyway, he was there as part of the family, and, and the federal agents had come in, in the, and, and then they brought him back to Cuba because that's where his dad was, and his dad had wanted him. It was actually a clear cut case. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time, I'm a Republican, right? But I thought, it's a no-brainer. His dad's alive, wants him back. There's really no legal question whatsoever. So I went down there with a Send Elion uh, poster. That turned out to be a really bad idea. What happened? Okay, that in a moment. Okay. But first, let me tell you what's happening now. So the first time ever, uh, Elian Gonzalez has left Cuba. He's on a raft. No, he's not. Don't get excited. <laughs> Don't get excited. Okay, no. He just went on a trip to Ecuador as part of the official uh, delegation, 200 strong delegation from Cuba, for the 23rd World Festival of Youth and Students. Nice. How old is Elian now? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so here's an interesting fact about Elian Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. He's now 20. Wow. Exactly, which is kind of depressing to me because wow. that was a long time ago that I was at that protest. He attended a military academy as a cadet. He's studying industrial engineering. He's going to turn 20 on Friday. And he spoke of his admiration for retired leader Fidel Castro. Oh my goodness. To which Cuban said, No! 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 no, no. Now, if you think that's bad, uh, here's an actual quote from Elian Gonzalez. He always came for my birthday, talking about Uncle Fidel. Ooh, oh, that hurts, that hurts, Fidel Castro. He always came for my birthday. I always look forward to that moment. I'm a person of few words and clammed up when he was there, but it was enough to see him and give him that hug. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, I believe we have uh, live footage of uh, Little Havana in Miami. Uh, let's check that out. That did not go well. <laughs> okay, uh, there's some chance the right-wing community uh, in uh, South Florida not entirely happy about uh, the direction Elian's life has taken. Now, look, I, to what degree was he brainwashed and all that? It does it, you know how much of this is volitional? Those are good questions in reality. Okay, uh -huh. and and I I always I thought his dad, of course, should get him back. But at the same time, that didn't mean I didn't feel bad for Elian. I think he would have been better off here. I, you know, I love this country. I think, of course, we're in a better situation than Cuba is. So I felt bad for him, but his dad gets to make that choice. Yeah, I agree with you. And I, I'm familiar with this story. I was really young when it first broke, so I remember paying attention to it. But I don't remember uh, what Cuban Americans were saying in Miami. So they were just losing it. They wanted right, him so to stay here in the United States. Oh, did they ever, yes. Okay, fascinating. So they're like, you think we're going to give this precious boy? His mom had died. Uh, I know, on, on the raft. On yeah. the raft. So they're like, she sacrificed, and that's her side of the family, she sacrificed her life so that he could have freedom in America, and now you're going to give him to the, the satanic Fidel Castro. Okay, so they were livid about it, and I understand why. So I, back then, was under the uh, misunderstanding that there was two sides of that equation mm -hmm. in the protests. So I show up with a sign saying, send Elian home, and I, if, when I get there, I realize I've made a terrible mistake. Oh no, what there, happened? <laughs> there is an ocean of, of people on the other side. And it, so I naively, I gather up my sign, and I cut, when I turn around backwards, right? Although some people started seeing, they're like, what is that? What are, well, hey, what are you holding there, right? Oh my okay. God. Oh my God. And I go up to the, and I can't, I can't find cops, I can't find anything. I, I find some r reporters and I'm like, Where's the sign of the protest that says send Elian home rather than keep him here? They're like, they're like, do you think that? Because there is no such protest. Oh, and they're no. like, I'm like, 
And then that's when people started swarming. You have to understand, this is a giant crowd. I remember, okay? I remember how and, heated people would get about and the story. And so then I, I panicked. I was like, I guess here we go. And I turned the sign around, right? And that lasted literally half a second. What, how, did people beat you up? Yes! Oh my <laughs> That's God. what happened, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think Jesus says tape of what happened next. <laughs> so, about a hundred sweaty tooth Cuban madmen <laughs> attacked me immediately. There, I, and I was shocked. I, I'm in America. I thought like, hey, I'm going to get the protest. They might be upset. Or no, no, no. They weren't having any of that. They take the sign. Bam. Rip it up. Throw it. Uh -huh. Okay. Then they're like, all right, let's have at this guy. They rip my shirt. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> you, you haven't heard the story? No. Right. And then they, then they start punching me in the back of the head. Okay. Oh. And they're kicking me, and I'm like, I'm in the middle of the crowd. I'm gone. What did you do? Okay. Well, I'm trying to run, but I can't run. They've engulfed me. Oh okay? my God. This happened so quick. Okay. It was insane. I, I have to confess that I'm not sure I've ever been that scared. I was like, oh, no, no, no. We got to get out of here. Did you think you were going to okay. die? I, would <laughs> I don't know about die, but I was like, I'm in a lot of trouble, man. Okay. And then you know what happened? Cops came and saved me. Okay, and, and then, then you do these stories about <laughs> excessive force on the show. Yeah, yeah, that's the thanks I give to those cops who saved me. Anyway, cops come in, they start escorting me, but the guys didn't back away at all. Uh -huh. Like, cops are on the scene. They've now surrounded me, a couple of cops, just two cops. They're escorting me towards a cop car. People are like, yeah, whatever. Bam, bam, in the back of the head, Jeez. okay? And they're tearing at me, they scratch my neck. Uh, some guy started feeling my ass. <laughs> Swear to God. And I'm like, wait, is he trying to hit me or feel me up? I couldn't tell, but he was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we finally get to the cop car, and one of the cops says, hey, listen, I don't want to take him away in a cop car. It'll look like he got arrested. He didn't do anything wrong. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Put me in the car. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Because they weren't stopping. They didn't give a damn about the cops. That is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Okay, so now here comes the final part of the story, which is awesome. Remember, back then I'm a Republican. I just, in this issue, I disagree with Republicans, mm -hmm. right? That night, Fox News goes on the air. And at the time, I didn't hate Fox News. I didn't, you know, I was like, hey, yay, Fox News. I mean, I didn't watch them, so I didn't really know anything about them, right? They were relatively young at that point. Bill O'Reilly comes on the air and has a guest on that says, oh, yeah, this guy, well known communist agitator. You? Yeah, me. <laughs> he just made it up. How did he not know this story? This is like the best story ever told. <laughs> yeah, well-known communist agitator. I, I'm a card-carrying Republican. I just voted for John McCain in the primaries. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> then I was like, there's some chances Fox News just makes stuff up. 